here. I feel like I've been abandoned in a Blair Witch Project. Hopefully I find out where I'm meant to go. I've opted for carrying my roll map because I couldn't be bothered to look like a wide load with it strapped to me. <sighs> okay, so after wandering around for a bit, I decided to go under a tree. Now I've just got to get back to the tree. <sighs> I thought being out on my own, I'd be a bit like, oh shit, definitely gonna die. But actually, I'm quite enjoying it, I'm sweating. My bag's quite heavy. It's quite hilly, but actually, it's quite exhilarating. Um, here's my chosen tree. Part of the reason choosing here is because I can pee behind the tree. I thought it was a fucking good idea, to be fair. Here you go. We'll see if it's a good decision tonight. Now to find a flat bit. That's my tent. I didn't know how much you could actually love a tent. I am by an A road behind me, but I will substitute that noise for this view. Very happy bunny. Now to fill it with my shite. So, I don't know how this blogging thing works. Do you want to know everything I'm thinking or just the interesting stuff? Either way, I am sat. Um, tent is up. Woo! Airbed thingy bobby is inflating. Um, I'm not under the tree because I just didn't fancy acorns constantly falling on my head. Um, but so far I couldn't be happier. My tent is too hot to sit inside. So I'm kind of sat on this old track, currently. I honestly could not be happier. Ask me again when it's night time, and I might change my mind. But at the minute, this is bliss. Wander, feeling brave. I don't know where this goes. I came to a gate a minute ago. But it seems I've only seen one other person. They didn't look very murdery, so I trusted me life with them. Looks pretty normal, but all serial killers do. Keep finding mushrooms, and I know here they do a foraging um, thing, like a two hour day course on foraging, which I plan to sign up to, <laughs> duck. Um, so yeah, I keep finding mushrooms and things. It'd be nice to know if I could eat them. And if they were magical. But so far, I couldn't recommend this highly enough. Not just this place, although this place is very, very cool. But just get out. Like this year has been shockingly shit. But this is one thing I wanted to do. It didn't initially go to plan because it wasn't initially the plan to go on my own. But I'm really happy that I am on my own. And I can just be, um, but yeah, so I'm going to go continue my wander, finding fields. I'm often concerned about cows, sheep, not so much, can deal with sheep, cows, not so much, Charlotte will know, but um, yeah, so we keep going. If I find anything interesting, I'll uh, let you know. Ooh. Okay, found something interesting like a bridge hole thing. Hopefully there's no trolls home. I guess if I'm gonna do this vlog malarkey, I should show you some stuff. 
I thought I'd start with what I brought with me. This is my Elixir 2 by MSR tent. Brilliant. It's a two-man tent. I say it's a one and a half person tent, um, but I love it to bits. Um, I brought my Mountain Hardware Limita uh, minus one. Um, I don't know. I've not tried this one yet. I sold my Mountain Equipment Starlight something or other, so I haven't tried this one. But it's so warm. Minus one is more than adequate. If not, I did bring my Thermalite Sea to Summit. Um, uh, sorry, uh, Thermalite Reactor Extreme. So it's basically a bag liner. They um, add some warmth to your bag. They say it adds 15 degrees or something ridiculous, but in actual fact it's probably adds just a few degrees but it's enough to keep you warm. Um, underneath I have my Mountain Equipment Glacier 5, five I believe. Um, it's kind of a four season mat. It's probably a bit overkill for today. Um, what else have I got? I have got me, me butt pad as I like to call it from Decathlon. Um, what's down here? Uh, water bottle. Um, what's that? Oh, a tablet for the Netflix. Don't let anyone tell you that you shouldn't have devices or anything when you're camping. It's your trip. Bring what you want. There was an argument in the camping group the other day about, oh, you should switch off. No phones, no technology. It's like, if that's how you want to live your life, go for it. But don't tell people how to enjoy the outdoors. So yeah, I have Netflix for later. Um, what else do I have? Uh, that is my MSR water thing. I don't need it because there's a tap down the the way, we'll say. Um, my stove, I'll use that later and show you more. Um, in here is my, what's it called, AeroPress Go. Also show you that later or in the morning. Um, this is my warm kit. So it's my headband, a hat, a thermal top and leggings. Also, shit I don't need because it is too hot. Um, knives. Always like a good knife. I'm a bit obsessed with Mora knives. This is my general knife. Um, let me get it out. It's my general cutting of food, whittling if I want to knife. This is my Eberus. I think it's called Eberus Eldis. Love this knife. Um, it's a great one to have for cutting shit. Not people, because that's not what we do. We avoid the murderers. We do not become the murderers. Um, what else have I got? I almost stabbed a fucking hole in my tent then. That was stupid. Um, bug spray! Because someone in my camping group recommended it. Uh, pork pie and a boiled egg. Uh, microfiber towel. Breakfast for the morning. Um, bum bag. Love a good bum bag. That's about it really. Um, standard boots. Those are my lighter weight boots. I've got other boots for mountains. Um, yeah, so I think that's it really. Oh, me bag me Ren 65 which is more than adequate but I have stuff lots of stuff so the big boy comes with me um yeah that's it really um I'll probably see you when I cook right so it is six o'clock and to be fair I'm just impatient so I'm gonna make some food uh probably should have got this ready before I started talking to you about it so for my food um, I have got, don't judge me, it's top quality camping food. It's all day breakfast from a can that I put into a vacuum bag so I don't have to carry a can and it keeps it all clean and tidy. How can anyone complain about all day breakfast in a can? 
it's the perfect food. The only issue I've got is I don't have enough water to boil the bag, so I'm gonna have to just put it straight in my uh, stove and just heat gently, which ain't a massive issue, it just means that I get a dirty pan. Um, yeah, anyway, here is my cooker. It is the Chinese, I guess Chinese, uh, knockoff of a jet boil. I bought it for about 25 quid from AliExpress. Did I get it from AliExpress? I think I got it from AliExpress. It does the job. It is brilliant. It runs on this gas canister. It's quite a big one. You can get smaller ones. The actual tiny jet boil ones fit it as well. Um, but this one fits inside. So yeah, that's dinner. again it's half seven the sun has uh pretty much gone it's darker than what you can see for some reason the gopro makes it look quite daylighty but yeah um it started getting cold now so the whiskey has come out um nothing new to add i um i turned my phone into a hot spot so i've got internet on my tablet so i'm watching a bit of a YouTube, as you do. Um, yeah, glad I brought a hat now. Might have to stick it on in a bit. Now the sun's gone, it's actually pretty chilly. Hello, tis night time. Sorry, I um, have had many battles with daddy long legs or you know, the, the spiders that fly with wings. Um, I've had to like shoo them out of the tent because of me, me lamp. Um, but I can hear them on the outside of the netting and they vibrate. So if you didn't know what they were, you would think that they were um, some sort of alien species coming to eat your brains. Um, yep, it's, anyway, it's bedtime now. The temperature has plummeted. So I've stuck me uh, trusty marmot headband on and a nice, zippy thermal top from Decathlon. I think Innovate do one from their like trail running um, majig. And it was well expensive. I would have bought it if I thought it was any better than this one for a tenner, but I don't think it is. It might be. I'm... Yeah, so anyway, it's... The temperature's dropped. It's cold. I've stuck warmer stuff on. I have turned my phone into a hotspot, so I'm gonna watch some shit on my tablet in a minute. I've closed the vents on either end of my tent, so it's gonna be nice and condensation-y, um, but I'll be warm. So yeah, it is night from me for now. morning all um it's seven something half seven um not the best night sleep i've ever had i um need to reassess my pillow situation i think i um need a different pillow i uh, not a different pillow two pillows i'm a pillow snuggler i need two anyway um time to get the coffee on i think and get some porridge in me it was boiling last night so I ended up taking most of my clothing off but now it's chilly so I'm now having to put clothes back on. Life is all right now. I've got my coffee. The um the, the sun is coming up which is fab because when I pitched my tent Yesterday, I had no idea that the sun would be coming up straight in front of it. So that was um, a bonus. Um, still not a soul around the road that way. You can hear this morning because obviously it's rush hour traffic on a Tuesday. Um, the only things I have seen is I've seen some squirrels. 
I saw a bunny when we went for a wee, but no, it's beautiful. I am um, gonna get some porridge on in a minute, but I needed some caffeine first. Uh, it's wonderful. I highly recommend this to anybody. Just get out, go on your own, do it. Back to this kind of, I guess if I'm doing a vlog, I should be useful thing. I thought I would uh, tell you a few things that I thought were brilliant for um, camping, things that I bought that I thought actually were worth their weight in gold. So uh, to start with, I'm gonna go with this from Prezzel. It's the lantern, I think it's called the Noco light. And you put your head torch in it and it turns it into a lamp. I was a bit like, oh, gimmicky. It actually is brilliant. I've got the 450 lumen uh, Prezel head torch. Uh, this one. And it just fits in. And then you close it all up. I keep the charger in there as well because it's got the active core um, battery so you can recharge it or you can put three AAA batteries in it. But yeah, that was a totally good find. Um, what else have I got? A power bank. This one's not actually mine. This one is my boyfriend's because I've got a smaller one. But it fully charged. This managed to charge my phone twice, the GoPro twice, and keep my tablet on whilst watching an entire film. Uh, so that was a good buy. This is the Anchor 200... 20,000? 20,000. 20, uh, what else do I think is good? Uh, my AeroPress Go. Um, amazing tasting coffee in minutes. So that was brilliant. I love that one. Uh, my camping stove, which I think I've already mentioned at this point. Um, my spork, a titanium spork. Very useful item. Uh, my Waldo, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, cup. It's plasticky, but had a cup of tea in it, had whiskey in it, does the job all round. I just keep it up there. Um, what else have I got? Uh, da, 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 da. Um, my bag liner, because it was so hot last night, I ended up pretty much just sleeping in this and this kept me toasty without the weight of my sleeping bag. And although I've only got a minus one, sleeping bag it was ridiculously warm so I do think the mountain hardware the ratings on their sleeping bags are actually accurate unlike some brands so that was a very very warm night sleep uh what else me pillow it's not deflated I just like it really really soft this is the one from uh da -da -da -da, Decathlon I think it was 12 quid but it is golden it is brilliant it's um it's inflatable but the the cover is all soft and squishy and i like it quite soft so i just let the air out and it's got a one-way valve so you can do that without having to rush to put the the thing back in uh what else that might be it for now um i'll have a look around and i'll have a think And there we have it. Leave nothing but flat grass. Leave no trace. Um, I'm packed up and ready to go. I was gonna do some sort of like montage of packing it down, but I could have just played the video of me putting it up in reverse. So, you know, I might do that. Um, but yeah, I'm all packed up. All I've got is my little bag of rubbish. My bag is all packed. And all I've left is flat grass. You cannot say you are a real camper if you leave shit for other people to tidy up. Don't be a shithead. Take your rubbish home. I'm at me mean team point. I'm guessing he's going to come along that road over there. I have a bench, which is helpful but I can't rotate my bag off so I'm just gonna stand next to the bench. Uh, there's the gate. 
he's going to be coming in. Um, so yeah, now I just wait. Oh.